That said, I'm gonna jump right into it. We last left off, if you've been watching, at least on Twitch, I got to pretty much the end here. We're at the egg. We're going to check out the windfish here. So I know there's gonna be some confusion. Maybe later on, if you see this, you're like, where's the rest? Well, I didn't have to upload the rest, excuse me. What happened is, you know, uh, changing up the game room, different computer, different capture cards, stuff like that. All my expected excuses, I guess you will. Uh, some of the playthrough episodes didn't come out like I wanted them to. So, unfortunately, you may never see those. But I at least wanted to show you the end of it. So let's jump into it. So what we want to do here is wrap this up. We've got a couple other games on deck that I'm going to jump into shortly after. So look out for me with those soon. So what I believe this to be is like pr pretty much a boss rush. Now, if I'm not mistaken... I've got to play that arena, just not that song. Uh, well, let's go ahead and switch it out to Marin song, Ballad of the Windfish. So now having all the instruments, uh, that, that should expedite this. See, that's one of my problems. I can't render in 30 frames per second. Like, what's up with that? You should be rendering in 30 frames per second. So here's the nice little song. Let's go ahead and disable a preview and see if that helps up with the uh, picture here. It might not, but it's all good. So whenever this song ends, I'm assuming it'll go ahead and wake up this fish. Here we go. The time has come. The windfish awaits. All right. Enter the egg. Hoot. All right, blathers. Okay, so this music is intense. We don't need a key or anything to get in here. I've got the screenshot somewhere. There was some kind of code, like, you know, that you put in. You've got to remember. I can't really remember. So, if I'm not mistaken, there was a picture that I took. Uh, and I've got to use that picture to navigate through there. Now, it's going to be different for everybody. Uh, but it still should be the same for me. So bear with me a moment. I need to backtrack in my phone. Thank God for smartphones now. Back in the day, you had to write this out by hand on the Game Boy. But uh, with a smartphone, I was able to take a quick screen grab and go forward here. I've got to find where it is, though. I do not see it in my actual phone. That's the scary part of it all. Here it is. So for me, let's let's go back out. It says right. How do I go right though? Because that's clearly falling down. This was the entrance. So here we go. Right. And then again, right. Then again, right. 
Then after the third one, we're supposed to go up. Then we go left. Left again. Left one more time. And then up one more time. There we go. So from here, I'm guessing I'm supposed to just go ahead and fall into this thing. We're born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. The windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. Sound logic, they don't want to go away. They want to be here forever. We would have been masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. You can never defeat us. Let's rumble. This is pretty much Fantasy Island. But like, a horror version of it. Because everybody here is like, I guess, maybe their fantasy is to be on the island. Except for Mariner. I think she wants to get out of here. She wants a boyfriend. She wants you. Um, what we need to do is equip the magic powder. It's been so long since I fought this thing. That's its weakness. I missed him on that one. Okay. Okay, so the magic powder isn't working anymore. So we probably need to use some other kind of tactic here. Okay, so... Now it's just sword and shield at this point. He's shooting that ball. And I guess I'm supposed to volley it back to him. He looks a little bit like Agnim from... Agnim from uh, Link to the Past, but I'm like, imagining that's what he is. But only the ball can you... reflect back at him. This stuff right here is not going to cut it. Literally, um, the sword is... That! I moved away from it. That was what I had to hit him with. Ugh. Oh, shield absorbed it. Well, that was a waste. Still got hit there. Come on. Got him. Well. What? He dodged that. Seriously? Ah, the room was too... It was too small for me to turn around and... Well, at least he didn't get me there. It's too narrow this way. It's not wide enough. See, he got me there and there. But I couldn't ricochet it. Got him again, though, with the hit. I should be saving a lot, but I'm not. Ugh! This is ugly. I swore that was going to be the ball. How many hits for this guy? Go away. He has another form? He's not done? Seriously? Okay, this looks familiar. You hit the little... Yeah, you hit the little guy there. And that should, that should do it.
Come on, how many hits? Go as crazy as you want. You're gonna lose to me. Oh, he turns into Ganon. I don't remember that. I should. I forgot how much slower I am with the shield. Twelve-year-old me, help me out. I don't remember how this fight works, but it looks just like Link to the Past, which we played last year. Do I hit him in the back? What do I do? I believe I hit him in the back. So somehow I've got to get behind him. I can dash into him, though, maybe. According to this guide that I'm reading. He's gonna throw his trident. He keeps spinning that thing. I might take an L on this. Oh, well, I got two hits in on him. So no matter what, we at least got that. Oh, come on. Oh, he got me. I should have some kind of health potion or something, though. There's that. Should have never lost to that. What is going on here? I don't like this. Ah, oh, I hate that it's not so obvious. So we need another weapon because the sword is not working here. But that is going to work. You, this is kind of like Mega Man. You've got to remember the weapons and everything. I can't let him kill me again because if I do, all I have left is the fairy at this point. Okay, so we've got to jump here. Oh, look at it. He's got an eye. He's got an eye. We gotta jump and shoot him in the eye. I can do this. I was born for this. Gotta hit him in the eye. Jump over his arms. Jump again. Yep, there we go. And keep milking him in his eye with this thing. Boom. Oh! He got me there. But we're gonna definitely knock him out. Boom. 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 Oh! He got me there. It's cool, though. As long as we don't take L's every single time. As I start to take L's every single time. Okay, we avoided that one there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, he got me there. Open your eye. There we go. And down goes Frazier. Pretty straightforward. The island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Should have done this uh, last playthrough. But... Hey, last playthrough, we had audio issues, the video's there, but sound was not where it needed to be. So, 
of the yellow hat guy. You have beaten all nightmares. Or all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. And here's Blathers one more time. Young lad, I mean other yellow hat guy. The hero. Darn tootin'. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. He's speechless. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, other yellow hat guy, came to rescue the island. I've always trusted your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, other yellow hat guy. My work here is done. The wind fish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. And this looks so much different from, you know, obviously because there's more colors and textures and what have you. This looks like a scene out of the Earthworm Jim cartoon. Like he's going to say, Behold, it is I, the wind fish. I am the windfish. See, he kind of said that. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. Maybe it's the long teeth that have me talking like that for him. Look at the jewels. He's got a very, like, Indian kind of vibe going to him. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dust awaken, Koholent will be gone. Only... See, then I started doing a pseudo-Indian accent. Mm. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waiting world. Someday thou may recall that memory makes the dream more real. Come, other yellow hat guy. Let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. P play the dark song. So, so it, it, it takes it back to, to me. Am I gonna? Oh, okay, he's auto do doing it. Come on, come on. Don't let me go in the menu again. So there it is. As long as it's taken, it ended much quicker than that. I expected like a full-on dungeon. Turtle Rock had me just, ooh, I spent too much time. I think I spent, you know, you say this is a six-hour game if you know what you're doing. But uh, I didn't know what I was doing in Turtle Rock. So two and a half hours later, it led to the 15 or so minutes it took for me to actually finish this um, well there it is splash splash water oh an animated cutscene here shows me shipwreck that's a cool picture, by the way. I've got, yeah, that's a wallpaper if I've ever seen one. Takes me back to as being a kid. I know there's a couple different stories I told in this playthrough, some of you guys missed. Like talking about one of my favorite teachers in school. Um, shout out to Mr. Wright. And then talking about going to camp as a youth. And this being one of the games that allow me to accept that hey one day you're gonna be on your own and have to figure things out Link's Awakening was kinda of that game I know some say hey video games are useless you don't amount to anything playing video games it's not like jujitsu or a skill that you build up but there are people out here doing esports making money off games but more importantly if the games are helping you 
uh, mentally being stronger and sound and positive I don't think that's a waste of time I don't think that's a waste of your life you could have been anywhere in the world right now but you chose to be here with me watching my video and that's not a waste at all uh, I appreciate that hopefully you get something out of it got something out of this got something out of some of these other videos that being said thank you again for your support thank you for subscribing if you haven't hit that subscribe icon hit that notification bell tell your friends loved ones enemies it doesn't matter at this point but uh, if nothing else at all stay safe uh, I don't know how many more positivity things I could say in an outro but yeah check me out youtube.com slash captain sensation assuming this is your first video uh, check for more stuff on twitch I think Paper Mario's next, so check me out on Twitch. I'll be doing that over there as well. Twitch.tv slash Captain Sensation. YouTube and Twitter, same ending. Captain Sensation, right? So, uh, yeah, this is a beautiful game. Just going to appreciate the credits, the music here. I like how it was, you know, orchestrated, even though the original music arrangement I like better. No disrespect to the music arrangement person I see here illustration was cool I would love to see like a fully animated like Zelda cartoon or something like that and I don't mean like the excuse me princess I mean like a anime style animation or just you know an anime I guess uh, I know they have some of those comic strips that are being put out some manga that's Zelda that looks pretty interesting but, but this would be cool. Like, something animated like that. I could watch that on Netflix. Or Hulu or whatever. That, that should happen. Like, if they could animate all the Zelda games up to Breath of the Wild so far. That would be cool. I would be watching all of those. So, Nintendo, if you're watching. And I know somebody at Nintendo has to. Because you wouldn't have flagged my videos years ago if... That wasn't the case, but, uh, yeah, maybe look into that. All right, guys, I appreciate you all. Grezzo are authors of this software. So I guess Grezzo is who, yeah, they co-developed the game. They ported it over to the Switch so that Nintendo did not have to. Alright, y'all. I will see y'all.